What's up, guys? Uh, right now, we're going to be reacting to uh, a video by the Young Turks. I generally don't like their news program because a lot of their views are... Some of them, anyways, are a bit messed up. I don't like that lady at all. Uh, so, but it's nice to see they are on the side here. Um, so let's let's just go over it, and I'll, I'll comment. It's a, it's a short clip, so. Sweden's Liberal Party is proposing some controversial legislation involving the parental rights of men. Now, if a woman chooses to not abort her child and the father of that baby decides that he doesn't really want to be a father, should he be able to basically deny all of his parenting rights and not have to pay child support? Well, that's what this proposal is addressing. So they believe that men should have an equal right to opt out of parenting and choose whether or not to become a parent. All right, right away I need to comment on this. Um, they, they think that men should be able to opt out. I think men should be able to, I think they would have to opt in, not opt out. And I'll explain why in a second here. I've watched a little bit of the clip here, I guess most of it, so I know what's going to happen next here. But Men are proposed to have the right to disclaim paternity until the 18th week of pregnancy, as long as it's possible for a woman to undergo the abortion procedure. All right. This is where I have a problem. This is why I think it should be opt-in. Um, I've been, I've had this mindset for years. I've, I've, I, I'm glad to see people are actually talking about it now. This is huge, and I think this is all sparked from the Roe versus Wade thing that's been happening. So, um, I think men should have to opt in in order to pay child support. This 18th week thing is not going to work. Why? Because a woman can get pregnant. And then, unless there's some sort of law in place that they decide, they put in there, like, if we don't hear from you in 18 weeks, then you're off the hook. Like, by saying 18 weeks, that's assuming that the man knows that she's pregnant and you have the right to, I say, we'll call it vote, okay? If it's after the 18th week and you haven't voted, then what? Then you have to pay. What if you didn't know she that she was pregnant? What if you didn't know the existence of the pregnancy? So, I think it's important for men to have to opt in. And if you don't opt in, you never have to worry about it. So let's continue. I think it's important. The suggested legal abortion, if chosen, would be irreversible. What they mean by legal abortion is the man, you know, basically denying his uh, parental rights. Uh, the fr the farther. The father in question to renounce all paternal rights and duties, including the right to see his child once it has been born, should the mother decide to keep it. Okay, that's okay. That's cool. I'm all for that. That's great. Um, but that doesn't mean you won't be able to see the child. All this means is the government uh, won't be able to enforce that you see the child, right? Or they won't be able to enforce that, you know you pay for anything or whatever. The woman, mother can still let you see the child. You just, this is a good avenue. This is gonna be great because this will allow you to parent the child without having the government get involved. And I think some women would actually like this. They, they may like it if you sign your rights away and they still want you to be part of the child's life because now they're like, well, now I know he's not into it because of the pressure of the government. Right, he's not now. I know he's there because he wants to be there, right? Um, they want you want someone there who wants to be part of it, not someone who's being forced to be part of it. And I think it's important. So basically, just to simplify, if two parties uh, have sex, the woman gets pregnant, she decides she wants to have the baby, but the father does not want anything to do with it. He would be able to not only, um, you know, not have the responsibilities of being a father, he wouldn't have the financial responsibilities of being a father. And he also wouldn't get the privileges either. Right. Well, like I said, the state would be like, the state wouldn't require the mother to, to give him. So he could. It just depends on the, how the two parents work it out. Because at this point, they are working out together without the government being involved whatsoever, pretty much. Okay. Um, this is pitched as some sort of crazy idea and way too liberal, even in Sweden, they say. I don't understand why it's crazy. I think it's actually fairly sensible. Yeah. So now the whole, you should go get an abortion, well, that's not your call to make, right? Mm -hmm. So that, that part I don't agree with. And, and 
And it's not like they're saying he should be able to force her into an abortion. They're not saying that either. No. They're just saying the guy votes for that, right? But I would take all that out of it mm -hmm. and just say, hey, in the first 18 weeks, if you're the father, you do have a right to vote, mm -hmm. right? And say, I'd really like to know if anybody knows how they're going to form this. What happens if the man's not notified in those 18 weeks? Like, what is a default judgment? That's important to go. Because if someone comes around in 19 weeks and say, hey, I have a baby and it's his, the government's going to be like, I would, no, sorry, you didn't notify him within 18 weeks to give him a chance to vote, so he doesn't have to pay you anything. I hope that's the case. That's the, that's the only way I would be for this. I mean, I'd be for this either way. I mean, any time a man gets some rights, I mean, because right now men have no reproductive rights, like, whatsoever. So this is a, a huge step in the right direction, even though it's not here in America. It's nice to see this happening somewhere. Thank you. Thank you. It's it's hard for me to say that. Uh, I apologize to any women watching, but thank you, R Supreme Court, for punching Roe versus Wade in the face. I, I am all for abortion. I wish that it didn't take that for this type of um, um, for this type of recognition of the lack of men's rights, but. It, I'm pretty sure that's what sparked all this. Now we're looking at men's rights and what they do or don't have. It's because the Supreme Court did that. I hope the Supreme Court comes around and, and maybe in the future and says, no, abortion's okay, go ahead. Because maybe now men will have abortion rights or, or reproductive rights, you know. And I'll, But I'm glad it happened, I guess. Even though it's, it's a bad thing, I'm glad it happened because men are sitting back here, you know, getting rammed up the butt. And it's just not right. I'm either involved with this kid or I'm not involved with the kid. Now, I, I voted, you know, and in the, whatever it was, right? Uh, you know, plan B in the beginning or an abortion or whatever it is, right? Uh, and, and if you do that, you definitely lose all rights and privileges. You don't get to see that kid. That's not your kid. You're done with it, mm -hmm, okay? Mm -hmm. Well, you can. It's just the government won't be able to force the woman. And if the woman doesn't want the man to see the child, she can legally make it so he can't. So she has power over whether he sees a kid, but if you're with a reasonable person, you'll be able to parent that child with her without the government breathing down your neck and making you do stuff you don't normally want to do, like overpay child support. You know, you'll contribute in a way that you both agree to do. And I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna be a beautiful thing if, if we do this universally. But I think it's fair to say I want to opt out of it, and if you want to have it, that's on you, that's not on me. Yeah, I've definitely evolved on this because I remember debating um, a friend of mine years ago, I think in like 2012, about this whole situation. And of course, he's a guy, he believes that a guy should be able to opt out because if women get the ability to choose, why can't men also have the ability to choose? And I kept fighting it because I felt like it's the responsibility of both parties, right? So mm -hmm. if she chooses to have it, well, he should have some financial responsibility. But ultimately, I think that consent and choice is important for both parties, and if a guy decides, you know Gosh, you know, I can't ex I can't express how much it's nice to hear that from people, especially a female. Um, I first heard this a lot from uh, pearly things, and um, it really nice to hear. That's very refreshing. Um, men, we go through so much stuff, and nobody acknowledges our pain or what we do, what we do. People, men kill themselves over child support, over having a, a huge blow to the life. You know. You know, what happened before when Plan B was argued to to be over the counter or whatever, to be without a prescription? What do women use for argument? They said, well, um, you know, it's my life. I should be able to decide what I want to do when I want to do it. And that was their argument. Um, men were not given any consideration. We were nowhere in the picture. What about what we want to do with our life, you know? men go to jail for not paying even if they can't pay they're i know over in the uk they're not put in jail if they can't pay but here in america it doesn't matter whether you have money or not if you don't pay you're going to jail and it's just men's lives are destroyed over having to pay for something they never wanted so um all right let's continue I don't want to be a father to this kid and I want to make a decision as well I do believe he should have that decision or make that decision and also as a woman if I were in this situation I certainly wouldn't want a man who wants nothing to do with my child being part of our lives we have this culture in America 
And that's the biggest thing I talked on, I hit upon a little bit uh, a moment ago, was you don't want a man there who's made to be there. So um, if he's there after he votes no, and you allow him into the child's life and you work with him, um, I think you'll I think you'll have a more honesty, and and men will have not have the pressure, uh, the pressure of of having to do everything and you know at a level that the government will require them to do. America where it's abortion is like some great shame or something. So that's why it, this will seem outrageous to some people. Like, oh my God, is a guy wanting to have this woman get an abortion? How dare he? No, well, first of all, he can't force her. Of course not. That would be deeply problematic. That's the problem with the... Yeah, I'm all for it. If a woman wants to have an abortion, go for it. You know, this is my take on it. Um, I saw someone try to uh, online... I think it was a comedian or something tried to say well it's an apartment you know they're just in an apartment you know his his argument was was a pro-life one but um this is this is why abortion this is why abortion is good and and it should be um lawful uh, having an abortion is, is akin to um sorry draw blank here I'm not so good with the camera here yet um, let's see here oh okay it's like in order to have a child you have to give initial and continued consent correct because if you don't do that then then you're not gonna have the child you'll find a way to, to not have the child you know it's it, it's or the you know it's a zygote or a fetus whatever you want to call it um, so it's akin to giving blood like if you have really good blood something special about your blood which has happened in life and it can save people's lives can the state let's say you had special blood okay can would it be okay if the state came to you and said you have to give blood in order to save this person's life over here you must give it i must see you down here at this clinic and you must give it and we must give as much as we tell you to give because this person's life needs to be saved. No, they can't do that. You don't want that. You have the freedom to deny it. Say, no, I don't want to be any part of that, right? It's my blood. I'll do what I want. It's the same thing. We can't give a fetus or a zygote rights that no one else has, right? That's why, that's the, that's the main argument of why abortion is okay and why we should be doing abortion. We should allow abortion. Right? We're not short on humans, so that the species existing is not a problem. All right, it's, it's continued to exist. Let's put our money and our, 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 our uh, efforts toward p kids who are already born, who are in foster homes, shelters, and stuff, who need help. Don't worry about potential children. Worry about ones that are already here. So, um, yeah, if, if, if you don't feel comfortable with the state making you give blood, then... The same thing for that woman should be able to decide. If she decides she stops giving consent, then it's it's out. It's gone. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, we're not short on humans. And so you'll hear a lot of uh, pro-lifers be like, well, uh, it has a heartbeat. I don't care about heartbeat if it looks like Einstein. I, I don't care. It it depends on the woman to, to, to grow and become an actual... You know to become a child until then it's relies on her and and it's getting room and board and uh protection um she can take it away it's okay that's fine we can't say hey you need to have a child because now we're giving it rights nobody else has and that's that's not correct it's not right all right we'll continue so-called pro-life position because they're mm -hmm. against a woman choosing it's her body if you don't like that i mean you take that up with god or nature or evolution or you take it up with whoever you like but it the, the woman carries uh, the babies in, in our uh, species but we there i don't think there's any shame in abortion at all no shame at all so if you don't like that that's a sad day for you so so i think that if you say hey i i think we should not have that child that's a perfectly normal thing to say and uh and if you guys don't agree well you know one right one person could have the legal right to withdraw himself from that relationship now here are the challenges to it and here's why proposals like this usually don't pass in various countries because this isn't the first time something like this has been proposed it's because countries don't want the financial burden of supporting that child right mm -hmm. so think about that for a second let's say it's a woman who might not be 
uh, well off financially, and she decides, well, I want to have this baby anyway. If the father can opt out of that financial responsibility, how does she get supported? Well, she gets supported the way she gets supported today, welfare. I mean, yes, when you apply for those things, they're going to want to know who the father is. But if you know who the you don't know who the father is, how, you know, you know, I've never had a baby. I don't know for sure. I think you'd still get support, but they, they still want to know who the father is because the state tries to get their money back. And that's the thing about child support is the more money a state makes off child support, the more money they get from the federal government. So that's a huge problem I have with child support. That's why... That's why a lot of family courts try to break up families because if they bring in that child support money, they bring in that federal money. And it's just very corrupt and it needs to change here in the country. But yes, um, if you can afford it, you get welfare. Um, you know, just like you get support for other things in life. I mean, I would rather pay a little more in taxes and not have men kill themselves and live a very crappy life, right? I mean, just like I'd like to pay more in taxes than have to, you know, see people go bankrupt because we don't have Medicare for all, right? A lot of the burden is now going to fall on the state. And I think that's why a lot of politicians have a negative knee-jerk reaction to proposals. Like well, because, they, like I said, they won't be able to get their money back from the men and from the, from the federal government for all the child support they brought in. So yeah, it's just like just like the insurance companies for health health insurance companies. They're going to lose a lot of money if we have Medicare for all, a lot of money. So of course they're going to fight against it. Like this. Hmm, that's interesting. That's, yeah, under the guise of protecting women. Right. Yes, right. You said maybe American politicians in that scenario? Absolutely. Okay, so that's that's one of the things I've always talked about. We talked about something similar the other day. It's one of those situations where an atmosphere has to be created where we're not worried about the things we're worried about. So this is a different country, right? Now, Sweden. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure about the details of their their care or how much the government's involved or how much your money goes to taking care of everyone. But in situations like this, the reason we gasp is because we're thinking, oh man, what if we're thinking from a privileged point of view? Sure, if you have money, you can take care of that kid on your own. But if you don't, which a lot of people would have that problem, you need that child support from that father. Mm -hmm. But if you've already set up a situation in your country where people are taken care of, or there's a system where, again, it's not even taken care of, you pay for this with your taxes. There's like daycare places, there's drop-off places. This happens in Canada. There's drop-offs where, you know, it's like a 7-Eleven. It's Three blocks that way, oh, you can drop off, you go do your things. It's like a little daycare center, and you're not paying $500 for two days a week. Oh it's just God. the way, it's part of what you're paying. You know what? I'm for that. Some sort of uh, state supported child care place. I mean, as long as there are regulations and checks to make sure that ch the children are being treated correctly, and you know, lots of good rules and support that you can verify because you know, you don't want a cruddy run place by the government that's for sure um but maybe maybe private run being subsidized by the government i, I don't know i'm all for that you know if i guess maybe it would cause women to have more children when they're not with somebody and that's unfortunate because having both parents having the man and the in the uh, family is super important for children but I guess there's an argument to be had there. Thing, right? That's amazing. If, if that existed in America, I would definitely so, have a kid. Yeah, so as, as a, say, as a single mother or single father, you're not thinking, oh, how am I going to pay for this? Oh, the kid's only a year old. I maybe have to go to work after this. Or there's yeah. no drop-off centers. These things create an atmosphere so that if, if you have this law that allows people to opt out, it's less of a, oh, how are you going to do this to, to this woman? So That's right. it, it so, makes it easier. It makes it more of a reality. Well, both of, both we're of not what, as pissed about this. Both of what you've said is true. Uh, so in Sweden, uh, they have much better support for parents, so she'll be in a much better uh, position to take care of the kid. It makes it less of an onus on her, but at the same time, that makes it more cost for the general population, and hence why more people might get pissed about it. Right. Right. So all those things are true, but I either way, I feel like people have to own up to their decisions, right? Yes, they have to own up to the original act that led to the kid in the first place, but then you do have a decision to make at 18 weeks or w whichever you know time period you want to put it at. Put it at no time period. Or, yeah, whatever. A woman has a choice to make, and I think it's fair to say that a man has a choice to make. And if a man says, I'm not, I don't want to be involved, then, you know, then it's not like it's the end of the conversation. A woman can choose to have the baby and support it, et cetera, and in Sweden it's a little easier, or she could choose not to. But I, I think it's fair to ask both parties and give both parties a choice. That's great. Um, you know, it's not often I find a, a news story from the Young Turks that I agree with, but... Uh, I used to watch them back in the day, but they got a little cray-cray.
so I stopped watching them. Especially her with that, uh, who's that kid who shot a couple of people and went in trial? She, she became totally irrational. Um, anyway, so that's my take on it. I'm all for abortion, but I'm so happy that men's rights are being looked at more now. And I really hope that something happens here in America uh, to assist with that. So thanks for watching, guys. Peace.